Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Earlier this month, Amazon made plans to lay off a large number of workers in one of the largest job cuts in the company's history. In a memo posted to Amazon's blog, Dave Limp, head of Amazon Devices and Services, said that after a deep set of reviews, they recently decided to consolidate some teams and programs. One of the consequences of these decisions is that some roles will no longer be required, and as a result, many would be laid off from the Devices and Services division. Amazon has yet to disclose the number of job cuts it will make. Employees working on the company's Alexa speech assistant, retail operations and human resources are anticipated to be affected by the layoffs. According to the New York Times, up to 10,000 individuals could lose their jobs. Meanwhile, Facebook's parent company Meta also reduced the size of their team by around 13% and let more than 11,000 employees go. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that they're taking various additional steps to become a leaner and more efficient company by cutting discretionary spending and extending their hiring freeze through the first quarter. In his address to Meta employees, Zuckerberg said that at the start of COVID, the world rapidly moved online and the surge of e-commerce led to outsized revenue growth. Many people predicted this would be a permanent acceleration that would continue even after the pandemic ended. Even Zuckerberg expected the same, so he decided to increase investments significantly. Unfortunately, it did not play out the way he expected. Not only has online commerce returned to prior trends, but the macroeconomic downturn, increased competition and the loss of ads have caused Meta's revenues to be much lower than he expected, stating that he said that he got this wrong and he takes responsibility for that. As for Netflix, they lost subscribers for the first time in more than a decade. They had to let 300 workers go in June in the second round of employment layoffs. In February, Netflix reported losing 200,000 subscribers worldwide at the beginning of 2022 and forecasted a 2 million user decrease in the next quarter. The company cited the decline to several causes, including rising competition, the state of the economy, the Russia-Ukraine war and the widespread practice of people sharing accounts with non-paying homes. So have tech job losses affected you? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and you can press the bell notification for our upcoming videos. I'm Rachel for Kalkine Media.